goes without saying that music and sound have been used since the beginning of time and through history and have been linked to a countless number of health benefits like boosting immune function and lowering stress. This ancient meditative practice uses different sounds and musical instruments to create these healing vibrations around the body which can create a meditative state. Now of course there are many different types of sound therapies like guided meditation which uses a form of sound healing in which you meditate to voiced instruction and it can also include chanting or repeated mantras or prayers. There's tuning fork therapy which uses calibrated metal tuning forks to apply specific vibrations to different parts of the body. There's brainwave entrainment or binaural beats which stimulates the brain to a specific state by using pulsing sounds to encourage the brain waves to align to the frequency of the beats. There's music therapy, um, healing instruments like singing bowls, the flute, drums, and so on. And studies have shown and proven that these various methods bring healing to our bodies on not only an emotional level, but on a physical level, a mental level, spiritual levels, all of that. Sound has also been used in the world's traditions for personal transformation for thousands of years. Even the sound that comes out of our mouths through the words and the chants has a particular effect on the brain and can assist in awakening ourselves through vibrations in the body. So not only are these processes that occur in the body through sound scientific, but they're also experiential. It's an experiential process that can truly be felt. I remember leaving my very first crystal sound bowl bath as a participant, feeling like I had just received a full body massage. I was so extremely relaxed. These sounds and vibrations have a way of striking our deeper consciousness and really awakening something within us. If you take a Tibetan singing bowl, which is one of our ancient instruments that we use for sound healing, and you fill it with water and play the bowl, you'll find that these droplets of water begin to levitate and ripple and bounce across the water. Now our bodies are made up of about 70% water, not to mention our blood and the cells in our bodies. So just imagine how these vibrations are awakening us and creating a flow through the resonance of sound. Just placing my hands on my heart, I can feel my body vibrating through the sound that I'm creating with my voice. So this resonance is an internal vibration that's created through sound. Vibrational medicine is based on the idea that all illnesses or diseases are characterized by blockages in the energy channel on some level. And with sound and light resonance, those blockages can break up, they can dissolve, and they can be released. Another beautiful thing that happens when we do the group sound healings is what's known as entrainment or synchronization. Everyone that's in the room or the space of healing becomes in sync with that dominant energy or that dominant force. And this just happens naturally when you go into really high vibe spaces, right? Like you go into a room with very positive or uplifting people or a presence and then everyone's presence kind of shifts into this positive or uplifting energy. So by being in these sorts of spaces where sound healings or sound baths are taking place, our participants can condition themselves by the dominant vibe around them and realign themselves or come back to a state of vibrational health and harmony. They can come back into a state of wholeness through the experience that we as the practitioners create for them. When we use crystal bowls that are tuned to different notes, they work harmoniously with the different energy centers in our bodies to enliven them and awaken them. So we'll be exploring that more deeply in another section of this course.